I think the view from Desert View, um, you, you get to see sort of a panoramic. You, you get to see the, the river. You can even see the confluence just up ahead, looking north. And then when you turn toward the east, you see Navajo lands, and that's all part of Grand Canyon. It's all part of um, our homelands. And so um, you can see right there how we're just, we're part of the landscape. The canyon has a lot of meaning, you know, a lot of significance to us. It's the place of our emergence. It's also a place where the soul returns, you know, after death. It's, it's a place of wonder, it's a place of fear, it's a place of awe. It's not a place, I think, that people approach without a sense of awe and reverence, extreme reverence. And if you look all around, you can feel the sacredness. All of you can feel it. You don't, there's no words to describe what you're feeling, but you can feel it in a sense. You can feel it in your being, and you know why this is sacred. So in the future, when we have visitors to Grand Canyon, we hope visitors will be able to have a greater appreciation of the stories uh, about the tribes, about the canyon, what we can bring to the narratives that are being talked about. There are sacred places that need to be managed in a, in a specific way. There needs to be preservation, the resources of the canyon that needs to be here after many, many years from now. So that's what I hope we can bring to the, the whole narrative at the canyon.